Hi, this is Franz Cantor. I'm a cartoonist, illustrator, caricaturist, etc., etc., and toon talker. And I'm here with Jim Bridges, and I'm the president of the Australian Cartoon Museum. And today we're doing Mr. Kruger. Yes, Sebastian Fair. Kruger. Uh, his book, which uh, came out many years ago, called Stars, which I've had a couple of versions of. Um, Morpheus, uh, produced. Produced by Morpheus. There's a beautiful cover uh, illustration. He's, Kruger's very, very famous. So well, very famous. These, uh, he's, he's probably influenced all caricature in the last 20 years. Yeah, what's well, that signed? That looks, um, that looks very much like uh, a Salvador Dali eye, but it's not. <laughs> no. No. There's a lovely picture oh, of Elvis with his 3D glasses on. Mm. Smiley glasses. Mm. That's beautiful. Lots so, of straight um, minds. Very What's unliking. the deal? Sebastian Kruger's a German caricaturist, so these are actually uh, more fine art paintings than, than anything else. They're published for posters yeah. um, and prints. But he's really influenced, like everybody's gone this way, in, mm. with, especially with the new technology of. Um, there's the man himself, mm -hmm. and a couple of his fans, mm -hmm. and there's the man himself. Yep. I'm glad he's got the cigarette in the right hole there. Yep. And there's, there's this, see, most characters defined, and here on the side of the picture, like, it just starts to disappear, the bottom lip of that. So this is a lot of fun. He does, um, he's having a lot of fun with his uh, faces and the contours and the gestures and the, the um, well, it's proportions. Well, it's a composite picture but it's a painting mm. so and then of course he's famous for his detail yeah um, and everybody spends 16 hours trying to get the eyes right and all <laughs> yeah. that sort of stuff so this is a very popular thing to exaggerate to push how far can you push a caricature before it breaks so the the idea is um, you're changing all the proportions obviously but you're you're increasing the level of detail to such an extent that it's uh, it's it's becoming um, uh, hypnotic so even the smoke you know beautifully done yeah how would you paint that very carefully <laughs> how would you paint that very carefully um, stroke by stroke so yeah, even but I think even his stray hairs you know the bleach yeah, the hard the edges ones that the broken and shafts and yeah, things yeah beautifully done beautifully done yeah. so you know again exaggerating to the utmost but keeping the um, some elements in there which uh, inform you, which tell you that it's the person. I think a lot of people have gotten lost in the detail following him, mm. whereas he uses the detail. But He's I think a very a lot, imitated a artist. Would oh, you yes. say he would oh, yes. be one of the most imitated artists? Yes. Yeah. So some of these these are beautiful studies in hair. Yeah. You know, in the in the details, which are not in the photograph at all, but. You know, the photographic reference at all. They're not in this level of detail. No, yeah, well, same as this. Same with that. It's yeah. the caricature detail. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. It's like a little landscape happening. And of course, he's telling you something about the actual person with mm. that eye. What's he actually telling you, friends? We don't know. I You'll never know. These are, these are decisions that, that he makes. Isn't that a cartoon symbol for madness? <laughs> for, Possibly. For wildness? It's just fun. Yeah. This is, um, what's his Kinski. name? Kinski. Kinski. Natasha Kinski's daddy. Yeah, he's quite a Klaus Kinski. Yeah, quite a character. Yeah, look at that beautiful one of Arnold. That's mm. lovely. You can see the little um, pores in the skin of the back. Mm. You know, it's a, what's that? An escape route? TNT. Oh, it's the wick, of course. Beautiful. Hey, you know, beautiful. Mate. This is um. Yeah, I've never are you, seen this. Are you film. looking at us? Uh, are you looking at us? Yeah. Because he doesn't smile in that film, does he? He I does. He has that stupid, goofy look. He doesn't look. smile that much. Pictures that I've seen of him. Haven't seen the film. Marilyn Monroe, beautiful one of her. Yeah. So these are, ex uh, you know, exaggerated. Um, the idea of well, caricature he's going away typical. From, he's going away from a typical caricature into an art. art. With this picture, you can see that he's sort of he's going in a different direction. Yeah, so he's exploring it. Yeah. So he's pushing the thing, the envelope around, yeah. and seeing how far he can push it before it breaks. So well, obviously he's giving the, a broad the, shoulders, huge broad the, shoulders. The the recognisable. Yeah. He's um, going the opposite way. Most people would characteristics just, of the, just draw her with the head, maybe the body, but in her, but that's not her body. He's doing something else with her. And here's the detail that matters. Yeah. Because he's a famous um, alcoholic. Gerard no, well, he owns his own. He owns his own vineyard. Yeah. Okay. 
John Lennon. John Lennon. Quite a comment there. Yeah. Um, imagine no possessions. Yes. <laughs> yeah. These, this is quite famous. Yeah, it is. Um, what do you like about this? Well, again, you're pushing proportions and angles. You're, you're well, exaggerating you things this, that are two different eyes, and you're exaggerating things. You're exaggerating proportions, exaggerating contours, exaggerating details, and uh, you know, putting all of the, te- the details back in there, whether they're in there or whether they're imagined. He's doing that lip thing with the nose too. Yeah. So it's a level of caricature which goes beyond caricature into and he's even fine made art. The let it be, my teddy bear. He's even made the eyes slightly askance yeah. to add to the thing. Yeah, this is quite famous. I don't know what the significance of the folds are for, but uh, it gives it a level of uh, of um, detail, which is fun. Well, it's like he doesn't really... Again, all of these paintings of... It's the big well, idea I mean, I, he, I would say with this picture, he's lost respect for Brando. No, I think he's just having fun with a face. It's undeniably Brando. It's a yeah, very striking, it's strong caricature. Yeah, a lot of the proportions are very um, no, but I'm talking about naturalistic. I'm talking about the coffee stones and the, you know. yeah, I don't know. You'd have to read the text to get the. Uh, I don't idea think he mentions that. That's beautiful. Mm. Absolutely beautiful. Yep. Really captured her sexiness. Yep, very striking too. Yeah, and th- this is the, the Rolling Stones getting. Mm. Oh, this is Tom Waits. Yeah, that's and that's all. No, that's not Tom Waits. That's um. That's Tom Petty. Tom Petty, sorry. And that's very illustrative, almost of the 60s, yep. uh, on record covers and stuff like that. Yep. There's Tom Waits. Yes. There's the... And there's... Um, Start of a long career of drawing this guy. Yeah. What's his name? It's Iggy Pop, obviously. You never see him with a shirt on. Mm. This is the Who. This is the... Wow. This is the Who, this is Pete Townsend. So like those French caricaturists where they, they pick on the character and they exaggerate usually an element, they push it and pull it till, it's, till yeah, it but, breaks. But, but they have a symmetry, this doesn't have a symmetry. Mm. It, 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 it has two symmetries, you know? Yeah. Very interesting, very interesting, very interesting. Well, that's obviously Hank, Hank Williams. Mm. So that's, that's a cell door, is it? Mm. Sort of. And that's more of an illustration, an article of maybe mm. about his um, career on, on dope and stuff. Yeah, this is but this fun. is this is um, how long you think he would have spent on that? A long time. He's constructed this uh, light. It's got elements of very uh, you know artificial lighting and it's things like that. It's got the feel of leather. It's got a beautiful it's got the feel of leather. And of yeah. course, no one spent that much time <laughs> on, on on a lower lip. Probably that that's probably the. The lower lip as landscape. <laughs> yeah, that's that's really good. That's um, this is beautiful. That's uh, Fassbinder. Fassbinder, yeah, he, that's a lovely. He made um, about seventy films in a sensitive bit. Uh, portrait, caricature portrait. Yeah, he didn't give a damn. He'd go from one film to another yeah. uh, without even. Beautiful. That's 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 from this Zorb, the Greek um, film. Yeah. And that's that's uh, that was used. Uh, that's a drawing of the poster. Brown paper. Yeah, but it's not much of a character. He hasn't changed it much. Yep. But this, this is lovely. You can see the wood grain. Yeah. yeah some people age Al gracefully. Pacino. Yeah. Mm. Always reminds me of the eyes of a chimpanzee. I call them sort of watery, watery, all the dark time. eyes. Yes. I think that was before we started doing coffee ads. Yeah, speaking of chimpanzees, there's some. Um, what did he call him? Bubbles. Yeah, and there's the money. The money curl. Having preserved. Yeah. It's Lovely. Obviously. Do they draw that? Like, do you, do you draw the hair last? No. It depends on what where you are in yeah. the painting or what. And of course, Charlie it's Watts. very organic when, by the, the time. The drummer from the Stones is probably the most stylish, and so he's drawn him in that angles and stuff. Yep. And, oh, there's Beautiful, some more lips. striking. Yeah. I love how the, the figure disappears into the background almost. Yeah, that's that's a you can only do that with painting. You can't really do it with line work, can you? No. Mr. Barbara Dillon. Yeah. Early yeah. days with the <laughs> Emo. Um, well showing the what's his the name? guy has Elmo. Yeah, showing the guy has humour. Humour. And so here's this composition sort of caricature of um, of uh, Hello, I'm Johnny Cash. Mm. And you know the drawing and the painting, and you know 
was I shot I shot a man in Reno just to watch him die. And that's that's um, the famous uh, blues guy, um, guitarist, um, yeah, Robert Johnson at the Crossroads. Mm. And that's more of an illustration, but you know, doing wonderful things with the suit. Look at the arm. Beautiful idea, isn't it? It's just a beautiful idea. Yes, yeah, just having having fun playing with it, yeah. like he is with uh, Sophia, just playing with that face. Yeah. Yeah. How far to push it till it breaks. Yeah. Interesting I like, idea. I like what he said. Is it um, Sophia Loren? No, but it's this. Uh, that's uh, pastel, isn't it? Uh, could be. Yeah. Yeah. Pen, crayon. Just exploring different techniques. This is a beautiful crosshatch uh, ink drawing of. Um, that's probably his early style before he got into painting. Yeah. Do you think? John Hurt. That's very um, French mm. influenced. And beautiful. Uh, it's a beautiful. That's a lovely classic. It's a very sensitive caricature. Yeah. Again, this is getting, you know, more into the grotesque. Yeah. This is less grotesque. This is a beautiful, charming caricature. So he can do that. That's the then guy. Then he pushes it to its grotesqueness, which uh, is an example over here. Yeah. And just to prove the prove the prove his case, look how much love he's put into the hair. Yeah. It's Orson Welles. Yeah. It's Orson. It's more Orson than Orson. It's, yes. Wild Bill Hickok. Mm -hmm. This is interesting how he's got the mouth going over that direction. Or is yep. it just a chin? No, it's just a chin. It's a shadow of the mustache. Mm. Oh, that's interesting because I actually saw that as the mouth, but that's a shadow of his mustache. Mm -hmm. And of course, they all get Famous in. John Wayne. The that's very French. The French draw him like that. Yep. But he, look at the, look at the fun he's had with the scarf. And the light. Yeah, and the light. And of course, light here's a. Uh, yeah. Clint. Clint. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 92 that was done. Yeah. Here's Sting. Mm. Shirt drawn back to front. Mm. Little, little touches. There's a little the Sting. Spike. Spiky little, hair with yeah, a spike. The, yeah, the little. Mm. Well, that's the this Sting. Is, that's his Stinger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but this this is. You probably headbutt you. Yeah, but the other thing is. Um, the eyes. He always has different eyes. Yeah. It's Patty Smith eyes. and uh, Neil Young. Yeah. Oh, look at the hair. Look at the hair on there. Yeah. There's a hair in there. Mm. And the hair over there. Yeah. Very, uh, very, God, that very... God, looks like Patty Smith today, not, not 30 years ago. Yeah. And there's, that's much more... That's a... Really, Bono? Yeah, but it's... it's it's not, a Bono Bono. It's a lovely Bono. Yeah, it is, but it's not a more really realistic. caricature. Yeah. No, it's more an illustration. And here he's going with with the yeah, character. Sid Vicious. Yeah, the and then sex of course, Frank Zappa. The hair's just S scribbles with a yeah. graffiti pen. <laughs> yeah, good he old. Just attacked it, so yeah, you know, it's give you an a tactile uh, a feel for yeah. the work. Look at the eyes. Great Look mixed the media. Eyes. Yeah, yeah, beautiful. This is uh, Mr. Mike Tyson. Tyson. It's very unusual, Tyson, for a like like him. I'd, yeah. I'd, I'd expect him to do something more extreme. Coloured glasses. Mm. Yes, black white. Mm. This is Joseph Boys, a famous um, doing artist, a, doing a, a very Manhattan. very good uh, impersonation of um, Klaus Kinski. Yeah. And look at you have Picasso. to see pictures of. <laughs> you have to see pictures of this guy. He's very very strange, Joseph Boys. Yes. Yes. This is Pablo Picasso. And his dog. Yep. Yeah, that, well, I mean, it, it's um, the lump and the eye. Yeah, the meat and two veg. <laughs> the smoking cigarette, the smoking gun. Mm. Mixed media again, Elvis. Andy Warhol. Mm. Is that a bullet? It's a bullet, is it? Coming he out. was shot, yes. Yeah, that's right, that's right. He was shot by a lady. No, he was shot by a soup tent. No, I think that shot him to fame, actually. Ooh, Bukowski? Charles Bukowski, Jasper yeah. Johns. So these are explorations of artists. These are brilliant. I don't mm. uh, remember these. These are lovely. Well, I mean, he's got hair yeah. on his... Yeah, I mean, it's, 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 a, it's a landscape. Yeah, it's, it's a landscape of hair and, yeah. Yeah, very cool. And Hendrix. Jimmy? 
sort of a style coming out of the 60s, yep. coming out of the 60s and early 70s. Beautiful, yeah. William S. Burroughs. Yeah. With here. really alert eyes. Yeah, and Chesney. Mmm. The comp mm. The, mm. I, I've seen this as, post, as a poster and people... Chet Baker. Mm. Jazz guitarist? He's a trumpeter. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, he's, he's just, some trumpeter. This poster, I've seen people physically collapse in, in tears of laughter mm. when they see this poster. It's Beautiful. Very, very clever. With broken nose. Yeah. This guy's lived. It's, uh, yeah. That's well, another one of him. Yeah. That, that'd be another one of him, yeah? I don't know. Well, is this, um, is this, is this him evolving? Hmm, maybe. Yeah, there's the skull. The yep. That is Pushing him. it. Pushing Chesney. it. Yeah. Very cool. Ooh. Betty Davis. Look at her eyes. She got Betty Davis' eyes. Mm. Look at the hands. Very, very, very strong. Striking work. I mean, Spooner did a drawing of her at about the same time and it had thousands more lines on her face. Yeah. You can see the red pupils. Yeah. Very cool. Oops, sorry. Joey Ramone, Lou Reed. Mm. Very sensitive. Beautiful. Yeah, you're, um, he's like, Beautiful you, work. you get the impression that he's sat with these people. Yeah, well, there's an impression. Yeah, uh, like you know, prisons. He's, he's actually had, he's done a bit of time with He layers time. in, he layers in content. I mean, there's a story in the hair. I mean, I've never yeah. seen hair that looks more like more hair that looks more like hair than this this, this, is, this is the hairiest so hair in a painting I've ever seen to me that looks like horse hair yeah but it's beautiful yeah it right, has yeah. all the shimmering colors of you know the rainbow and how he Lovely does day. little details like he doesn't completely he just he, he just goes the, the, the other side of, of symmetry yeah what's well, caricature colliding with fine art yeah and commercial art and I can't imagine um, Janice having scraping so back with a scraffito, yeah, just messing into around. the. I mean, the, the I can understand these images and stuff, but her hands are so. Yeah, well, I'm not aware of her hands, but she obviously wore a lot of jewelry, chunky don't stuff. Think she had 60s. such long fingers. Mm. The way she grabbed that microphone, and that that that's just classic uh, '60s uh, illustration. Yep, very vibrant though. It's a beautiful one. Yeah. Don't know this fellow. You Very can't striking. even see his eyes. You just no. see the balance of the reflection. Mm. And there's um, slash slash. Coming up is what's coming up? Yeah, David Bowie. There's an iconic picture of David Bowie mm. and Lou and. Um, Keith. And he fell in love with Keith. He did. I think he's done more Keith than anybody else. Mm. But I mean, you can see the road maps. Yeah. Beautiful. That's very photographic. Yeah. And then the other Rolling Stones. The pretty one. Mick Jagger. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. It's... Ron Wood. Yep. Nice one. Or Schnoz. Charlie. Here. Charlie with the different teeth. Yeah. Well, very well they, they get stuck. The they get stuck in the English people in their teeth. He 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 doesn't fit the crown, mm. and probably never will. There's the the other book they did on the Rolling Stones, and most of it is that's an extraordinary cover. Yeah. And he's had another go at um, at Jack, mm. Jack the Lad. Yeah. You're not saying much. Yeah, uh, I'm. It's. I mean, there's there's a lot of uh, exploration and fun in technique here as well. Mm. You know, so it's more um, more painterly than caricature in a lot well, of Well, yeah, but it's it's more it's more about um, see what happens rather than technique. So even with the caricatures, some caricatures work better than others. Yeah. Um, but it's it's more about what if. So exploring technique, exploring you know, as I said, you know, doing putting the painting in and then scribbling in, scraffito, scratching in, scribbles for hair and you know, coffee stains over the top. Well, you can certainly blood, actually. The, are they blood stains? No, it's coffee. coffee stains. It's coffee. Yeah. So there are all these different levels of play that he's explored. He's a pretty important bloke because he's dominated the last twenty years of caricature. 
Yeah, and he's the most, I think he, it's probably safe to say he's one, if not the most uh, copied oh, yeah. caricaturist. But or, most uh, people can only do it through, um, uh, through computer. He doesn't obviously do it through computer. Yeah. Uh, so there you go. Stars by Kruger. Yeah, okay, all this right. Is Franz Cantor and Jim Bridges saying we'll see you next time. Absolutely. Bye bye. Absolutely.